I promise you, if you watch this video, you'll be more prepared the next time you have to share your screen on Google Meet. I'm Kyle from Technology Advice, and I'm going to show you three ways to share your screen, including how to share your audio. I figured it'd be best to demonstrate this from within Google Meet, so here we are. Uh, now, down here, you can actually click this button to open up your screen share option. The simplest option is entire screen. As the name suggests, this shows the other people in your call everything that is on your screen. I personally don't use this one super often, but that's not to say that it's not useful. Uh, it especially is good if you are trying to switch between apps a whole lot. As you can see here, I can swap between like Notepad, some Adobe apps, and then right back to Google Chrome. There are downsides though. Uh, if you got some stuff up that you don't wanna share to everyone on your call, like personal tax information, or I don't know, 28 tabs of cat videos on Twitter, this isn't the best option for you to use. The other downside is that you can't share audio with this option. Now let's go back to that share screen button. Bop. Now the middle option here is window, and as you might expect, this will share a window uh, that you have up on your desktop. Now this could be your internet browser or really any other window that you currently have up. Uh, this clears up the issue with accidentally sharing something that you don't wanna share uh, because you have to specifically choose what window you are sharing at any given time. That said, it can be cumbersome if you're trying to like switch around from window to window to show different things. Also, some applications don't play super nice when being shared this way. Uh, there's actually some stuff on uh, this Photoshop page that I'm showing right now that actually isn't being shared uh, because it's being shared in this manner. And like before, you can't share audio with this option. But Kyle, how can we share audio? I can hear all of you saying through your little fancy computer screens. Uh, but have no fear, we're finally there. Back to the share screen button. That last option that we haven't looked at is the Chrome tab option. And you will see there's a toggle here that says also share tab audio. This is how you can share your audio. I'll show you how it works. ClickUp calls itself one app to replace them all. It works pretty similarly to the window share, but it is restricted to Google Chrome tabs specifically. Notice it says Chrome tab and not browser tab. So if you're using something like Firefox or some other browser, or if you wanna share something from a non-browser app, you'll have to use either the window option or the entire screen option. And with that, you now know how to use all three share options effectively and when to use one over the others. Hope you enjoyed that. I love making how-to videos like this. Uh, check out this one I did before on ClickUp, a super cool project management software. Ooh, check out that long hair. Also show us some love over at technologyadvice.com for more tech goodies and recommendations. Thanks for watching. Bye.